Hello everybody and welcome to iMan Videos. Today we're going to be doing a tour on one of my custom ship builds. I have not come up with a name for the ship yet. If you guys have any ideas, you can put them in a comment or something like that. Um, but today, this is a ship that is kind of set in the early 1900s. Um, it is a single class ship. I will be referring to passenger areas as the saloon class. Um, and without further ado, let's start the tour. So in here, this is the bridge. This is definitely a crew area in here. These are called telemotives. They let you communicate with, you know, your docking bridge, engine rooms, tugboats, anything like that. Uh, this is a wheel in here. Uh, most ocean liners had, uh, two wheels, or, th well, three actually, including the docking bridge, but they mainly use this one in port or docking, as well as the docking bridge one. And they used the wheelhouse in here for when they were out at sea because it was indoors and warmer. And then this is where the pilot slept, the people who steered the or controlled the ship. On the other side, we get the navigation room. These are mainly used by captains. And this is the captain's room in here. Moving further aft, this is the crew's, or the officer's promenade deck in here. And then past this fence, this is all saloon class promenade deck area. This is the main staircase for saloon class in here. And we'll have a tour of A deck now. Back here, we get to the lounge. This is the pantry for that. And then this is a kitchen to supply food for the pantry. This is also a kitchen for a cafe. I called this the Bayside Cafe. I kind of wanted to go for kind of like a, you know, a Cape Cod almost cafe feel. And then this is a, this leads back out to the A deck promenade, which loops all the way around those rooms I just showed you. And then this is now crew promenade deck area. Oop. This is their kind of like sitting area, I guess you could say. This is the docking bridge, telemotives, and stuff like that. I already explained this. This is also technically the poop deck. And then these are in-ground cargo hatches. Uh, these are cranes. Those go down to the kitchens. I'll show you those in a bit. This is the reciprocating engine, engine room in here goes down to the engine room or engine room this is the reciprocating engine room roof is the politically correct term i guess you could say and that was all the doubt jeez that leads all the way down to the engine room excuse me that pretty much does it for this deck we'll have a look at b deck now so this is the first deck that has cabins for the uh saloon class in here I will have a look at some of them. They all look identical to this, basically. Double beds, desk, uh, couch, bathroom, and wardrobe. And these would technically be the most expensive rooms on this ship, I guess you could say. Because they would have their own bathroom. And that is a pretty rare accommodation. Or, not accommodation, a uh, necessity in the early 1900s on an ocean liner. And then this is another cafe. Haven't named this yet. Uh, you have kitchens on either side. Uh, this is the enclosed promenade deck. And then this is another entrance for the reciprocating engine room. Uh, staircase up to A deck, and then these are the in-ground cargo hatches, and then this is the smoking room in here, and then this is kind of like their secondary staircase for saloon class. That pretty much does it for B deck, so now we're going to have a tour of C deck. So here we are, C deck. Uh, this is the main dining saloon. Uh, this is kind of stage, you know, bands could play here, uh... 
dance floor, maybe, you know, basic entertainment. And then there's two halves of the dining saloon, basically, uh, separated by the kitchen in here. Uh, you have your ovens, grills, stuff like that, uh, storage. You have your refrigerator storage. Those were the cargo hatches that goes all the way down here. Uh, this is meat storage in here. And then the other side is basically anything else that needs to be refrigerated. Then that's another entrance to the reciprocating engine room or emergency exit. And now uh, we'll have a look at the reading and writing room. It's down here. There isn't really too much. Oops. Keep doing that. Isn't really too much to it. Just a couple tables, desks, stuff like that. We'll have a look at some of the accommodations. So this would be a emergency exit for the boiler rooms. We'll have a look at those in a bit. Um, all accommodations on this deck look like this. Double bed, desk, st some storage, um, and a couch. This is the Turkish baths in here. This is kind of like a lift for the dirty towels. I'll show that room in a minute for the washing room. Here we have this is a shower room. This is a um, electric bath. This is kind of like a waiting room, I guess you could say, or a cooling room. On the other side, you have a hot tub and a sauna. We'll go back up now. Uh, more accommodations. Uh, this is the cleaning room. Basically, all of the dirty towels would come up here. They would sit in a pile. They'd be washed, stored, and when they needed them, they would be sent back down. Uh, another boiler room and exit. This is a men's lavatory or lavatory, whichever you want to call it. Woman's lavatory or lavatory. Another boiler room entrance, more accommodations. Then this is a swimming pool in here. Oops. And then the tennis court is right down here. This is the tennis court. And then that's where you could get changed over there. Now we're going to have a look at some of the crew areas. Um, this is basically just all sorts of crew sleeping area here. There's two levels of it. Uh, you have bathrooms on either side. And then up this corridor, you get to the fireman sleeping area. These are basically the people that scooped coal into the boilers of the ship. Again, two levels. You have this one. You have that one. This staircase leads down to the mail room. RMS stands for uh, Royal Mail Ship, which means that the ship is able to carry mail across seas. Basically. Uh, cargo hatch goes all the way down to the cargo holds. Then up this spiral staircase, we get back to B deck. Uh, this is basically like the maintenance people for the anchor gear room would be sleeping for their cabin. And then this is the anchor gear room. Basically, you'd have little steam engines that would raise and lower the anchors on either side. 
Then up here, we get to the surgery room, which is basically a hospital. Then this is the hospital waiting room. Then you have, uh, what is this? Fireman's mess hall. It's the pantry for that. This is the entrance to the crow's nest. I don't think I made the entrance. I believe it's here. Yeah. There's a crow's nest in here. On the other side, uh, Siemens Mess Hall. It's basically just a crew mess hall and another pantry. Okay, we're going to have a look at uh, the tank top deck, which contained boiler rooms, engine rooms, and the cargo holds. Okay, so this is basically cargo hold one, cargo hold two in here, then this is cargo hold three. This is boiler room six, five, four, three, two, one. You know, stuff like that. Um, and no, the exits look like this. So there's a ladder, like a series of ladder and platforms. These were the emergency exits in case uh, the watertight doors closed so you could actually get out. And then over here, we get to the reciprocating engine room in here. It's so basically how steam engines worked in this time period is Pressurized steam from the boilers was kind of driven into these cylinders, which pushed the pistons, which moved the propeller rods, and that spun the propellers. And then up here we get to the um, cabins for the engine room. It kind of had a class system. Uh, you had the, your chief engineer, secondary engineer. They had, like, the... Nice cabins, they had bathrooms and stuff like that. Or this does, and this is all identical on the other side. And then you have your second, or like third, fourth, or whatever. It, it basically is just the classes that make keeps working its way down. Then you have the greasers, which basically min maintained the engines. They all slept together. And then this staircase went all the way back up. We'll look at that in a second. Um, then you have the propeller room, or, the, or not the propeller room, the shaft room. Basically just an area for the propellers in between the, or the, the shafts in between the propellers, just a basic room. You can kind of see it goes all the way out to the propellers. And I believe that pretty much does it for this ship. Um, if you have, again, if you have any ideas, please, or for the name, please comment them down below. Uh, be sure to check out my other Minecraft ship videos. Um, I have a few Titanic model videos. And yeah, that pretty much does it for this video. And thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.